all of us will have to face death. There is no escape from death. It is inevitable. And that is why, my dear brothers and sisters, to overcome the fear of death, we must turn to the Lord in faith. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, faith is what changes our whole perspective towards death. And even if it comes, we will embrace it. But then, there are many cases where the Lord wants to heal us and to extend our life. And that is why it's very important for us, my dear brothers and sisters, that we should come to the Lord in faith. What we need, therefore, is to remove the obstacles of faith. And the first obstacle, of course, is our pride. There are some people who don't want to turn to God when they are sick. Oh, because, you know, they have PhD for this and for that. They think they know everything. They think science can do everything. Until they are desperate, when there is no hope, then they turn to the Lord. Secondly, we need to take courage. Because unless we are able to acknowledge our need for Jesus publicly and our own unworthiness, our own sin, we cannot be freed. Those who are rich, who are powerful, those who have status in life, you know, they are actually looking for meaning in life, looking for purpose, looking for healing even, physical healing. But they did not come to Jesus publicly because why people might ridicule them. You are a man of great status. You believe in Jesus. You are too superstitious, too naive. Intelligent people don't believe in God. They just use their brains. And so there are many great people, important people. They are hungering for God, but they are too proud. Lack the courage. And thirdly, we are told we need patience, patience for healing. Even if we die, we live forever in Christ. That is why for us Christians, while we turn to the Lord for healing, and even if we are not healed, we know that we will never die. The fullness of life is always with Christ. Indeed, my dear brothers and sisters, to find meaning in life is more than just physical health. I see so many people, you know, they spend so much time going to the gym, exercising here. They spend two, three hours exercising every day. And they go for cosmetic makeovers, spend hours. But no time to look after their soul. No time to look after their affective life, their emotional life. You can be very pretty, you can be very handsome, nice body. But your heart is selfish, self-centered, full of anger and bitterness. What kind of life is that? That is a living death. That is not life. Life means that we learn to be like Jesus, to give our life for others, to make ourselves of service to others. That is the fullness of life. We live not for ourselves. We must live for others in order to live fully. That is why for those of us who are ill and sick and the Lord give us healing, it's not for ourselves to continue the kind of useless, futile life that we were living. It means that now change your life and live the fullness of life already on this earth by sharing in the life of Christ.